island of Sodor. Halloween was coming and all the engines were excited. So top hat picking engines to take the fireworks to the party. All the engines were working harder than ever, hoping he would pick them. One day in the sheds, Henry was very sad. Edward noticed this and he was concerned. What's wrong, Henry? <sighs> I'm just grieving. Why? Because one of my brothers died around this time last year. Sorry to hear that, James said. Gordon snorted and said, What are you talking about? My brother Benjamin died around this time. Oh, yes, now I remember. That was a long time ago. Yes. He was scrapped because he was broken up. The workman couldn't fix him. When was this? Oh, you may not remember. It was a long time before you pulled the express. We were the same class and were the rest of friends. One day, he was pulling the train of fireworks. Benjamin did not listen to me to go over the old bridge. I found out that when he took the line to the old bridge, I tried to stop him. I ran around the corner and slammed on my brakes. I just stopped it in the same time. I looked down and saw fire. Apparently sparks from his funnel lit the trucks and blew it and it blew up. He was so burned and broken. They sent him to the scraps. I never forgave myself. It wasn't your fault, Henry. Pah! That's nonsense. It happened. <sighs> I still don't believe it. Edward, forget it. Benjamin will make him soon enough. Oh, I'm so scared. My axles are shaking. Nice try, but you can't scare me. I know this is a prank because Halloween is around the corner. See you guys later. I need to pull the express. He puffed away, not knowing the danger ahead. I hope Benjamin is not too hard on Gordon. What do you mean? You will soon find out. Deep in the scrapyard, spiritual forces were stirring. Green mist foamed away. Suddenly, with a bang, and metal started to move until a green engine was formed. It was in Henry's new form with glowing parts. Ah, it's good to be back. Looks like Henry had an overhaul while I was gone. Oh well. Now, why am I back? Suddenly, an image of Gordon appeared. Ah, Gordon. It looks like he's got a new job. I should greet him with a surprise. Benjamin laughed evilly, and his fiery magically started to burn. Green mist floated out of his funnel, and he whistled on his ghostly whistle and started away. Benjamin's ex as he slowly turned his wheels for the first time in years. He gained speed and disappeared, going away from his grave on a mission to pay Gordon out. Meanwhile, Gordon was probably pulling the express. He was having a great time when suddenly an engine appeared on the night next to Gordon. As he passed, he saw it in a gasp. Trevor, did you see Henry back in that siding? He looked back. No, I don't see anything. I must be going crazy. Ha, ah, come on, Gordon. Don't let Edward spook you with another one of his ghost stories. I know, I know. He sure was spooked. Then he shook me and realized how foolish he was. Ha! Henry and Edward thinking they can trick me. Ha! I am much smarter than them. Later he was puffing when Benjamin striked. Benjamin man just snapped the coupling between Gordon and the Express. Gordon felt a jerk, but he didn't mind it. He reached the docks to stop before he went over to the mainland. He 
left in and the dock manager walked over. Where's the express? What are you talking about? It's right. Uh, where'd it go? I must have snapped, but I looked behind us before when we came, and they were there. Yeah, but how did, could they disappear that fast? Man, this is freaky. Just go and find it now. Gordon took the loop track and raced away to find the coaches.